How's everybody doing today? I want to share an experience that I have today. Uh, it took me by surprise. I couldn't believe that it happened. And when it did happen, it uh, reminded me of that kid that was driving down the interstate and his, uh, his, his uh, brakes went out on his truck. I was driving in Colorado and uh, I was going up the mountains. I just drove past uh, the TA, and my my ABS lights. Here, I'm gonna show you so you can see. Every all these lights went off. All of those lights came on. I lost momentum. I was struggling to get up the mountains. I was doing 20 miles per hour. I guess that's what I get for bragging about my truck. Calling the international is garbage. Because <laughs> the KWs and Peterbilt's do pull better. So anyway, uh, I, uh, I got I kept trying to turn the truck on and off, hoping that it would, it would reset. It didn't reset. So I called uh, I called the company and uh, told him what happened. I took a picture of the dash so he can see it. And uh, he told me that there was a, uh, a TA 100 miles ahead of me. Over 100 miles ahead of me. But there was one that was behind me. And I told him, I said, well, give me that one that's behind me because I don't want to take that risk driving uh, 100 miles with no brakes. Uh, the only brakes that I had was the service brakes on the truck. So while I'm driving, on my way coming back this way, my brakes went out coming down the uh, coming down the mountain. Uh, I ran out of air, stabbing my brakes, and. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, smoke was coming from everywhere, from my front to my back. Smoke everywhere. And uh, that's why uh, my eyes are, they look the way they do. My eyes are very sensitive. So, but I'll tell you what happened before the smoke gets to my eyes. Uh, I'm driving down the hill, man, and these these cars, they're coming on to the, uh, the intersection. And I was like, I couldn't stop. Traffic was slowing down. All I saw was brake lights across the board. And uh, I kept pumping, kept stabbing. Ran out of air. Ran out of air. So I stopped and uh, I gave uh, the compressor a chance to build the air back up. Yes, I did use my J brakes, but because of all of this, my J brakes was not working properly. My J brakes were working bare minimum. And uh, so when the air pressure built back up, I went back to stab my brakes. They said there was smoke everywhere. My, my brakes were overheating. My drums were overheating. There's smoke everywhere. And uh, I, I was still going down the mountains. No brakes. So I popped my trailer brake. My trailer brake slowed the truck down until I came to a complete stop. And while that was going on, I was allowing uh, the air pressure to build up. My compressor to where I can start stabbing my brakes again for the truck to come to a stop. And uh, I 
pulled over on the shoulder and uh, I stopped the truck. And I got out to make sure that uh, there wasn't anything on fire, make sure there was nothing burning. There was no fire, which is good because uh, that was the last thing I needed to see was a fire because I would have really been, been stranded out here for sure. But uh, I would have been stranded. So anyway, I just want to share my experience uh, so that if the next person don't know, they can at least have the knowledge. Uh, do not pop your your, uh, your truck brakes to stop, especially when you have a heavy load, because uh, you don't want all that weight on your uh, shoving on your fifth wheel. And it caused your truck to jackknife. Always pull your trailer brakes and not the truck brakes. So, so all you truck drivers, y'all be safe. And uh, let me know if this was helpful. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave one and I'll be glad to answer. Be safe.